Hi everyone, this is Andy from Andy is Puzzled, and I am puzzled. And today I'm going to be attempting to solve this. This is the uh, Fort Knox by Escape Welt. Uh, it's a completely wooden puzzle. Uh, it's some very interesting markings and things on it, some very interesting clues. Um, so if you'd like to know more about this box without actually being spoilt and uh, how the actual solution happens and see how long it embarrassingly takes me to open it, uh, then there will be a review video which should be uploaded at the same time as this. So please go and check that out, see what you think. Otherwise, on with the solve. Fort Knox box. I've not even opened this yet. Well, I opened it a little bit uh, because my daughter wanted to see it very quickly, but I haven't had any real major previews on this apart from seeing possibly some preview images. Um, so yeah, it looks a little bit Illuminati. There's a four there on the side. Some cogs and things. It's always good to see. Um, so let's have a look at the details. So escape wealth, escape room in a box. Approximately 60 minutes it reckons for this. Save the Boo Boo Mummy. 14 plus apparently, so uh, in theory we shouldn't have any trouble with this. <laughs> oh, famous last words. Uh, well, time to open up and have a look, I guess. Whee! Oh my god, oh, here we are. I don't know what's this. Oh, we've got a bit of backstory. Fantastic, that's what we want. Uh, it's, it's not, oh no, okay, that's not for me. Must be a, uh... ah, here we are. This is more my speed. Uh, it's 1962. You're sitting with your pals in a stuffy back room of your uncle's pub. It was he who told you about the coup, the robbery of Fort Knox, the location of the gold reserves of the USA. I'm not really sure why locations uh, over two lines there. It seems like plenty of room on the final line. Uh, gold is not the most important goal for you. It is hidden here what is locked for all over the world. Okay. A notorious criminal, Al Capone himself, laid the mysterious coin in the bank so that no one has ever been able to find it. Once he said the person uh, who will find it will have the great power of a robber will be able to open any bank, but I doubt there is at least one criminal in the world who can find out this secret. Uh -huh. What to expect? Well, only those who bought the treasure to Fort Knox would know. One thing is certain, Fort Knox is one of the most secure places in the country. Riddled with mechanisms designed to be uncrackable. Can you prove the opposite, gain access to the vault and uncover the secret of the legendary treasure? Well, I don't know. Can we? Can we prove the opposite? We'll find out. So what we need is... Uh, we need a timer set up, don't we, here? Uh, so we'll just set this one going. Where should we put it? We'll put it over there so you can just about see it. Is that a focus? So this camera angle is a little bit weird because I've got... I'm trying... Uh, for the first few boxes I'm going to do, I'm going to try a few different camera angles. So we're going to try this one at this sort of angle here. It gives me a bit of space over here as well to put things like the timer. But I think it's a bit out of focus. The only bad thing is that it's on a very weird wobbly stand. So if I knock the table too much, oh, everything wobbles. But we'll see how it goes. So let's... Out of focus. That looks out of focus to me. Uh, please come into focus. Okay, we'll start it. Oh, I can not double click. Right, here we go. Right, let me put my glasses back onto this so I can actually see what I'm doing. Normally keep them off because it reflects the ring light a bit too much. Okay, so we've got a uh, dial on the bottom with some symbols on it. Is that Roman numerals? Yes, it is. Going backwards. I've got uh, some of these. I've got different symbols on them, the looks of things. A little bit of resistance there. I'm guessing these are clues on the side. Then we've got some spindles here. Uh, apologies for the shadow. I have got several lights on all this, but uh, I'm still not a lighting expert, so it'll all improve. It'll improve. Uh, is that any clues? Doesn't look like. Oh, hang on. There's something, something there. Okay, cool. Okay, that's a little bit. Uh, oh, that's not. That's not. That's not being very receptive to being moved. Uh, or some gold, gold bars, uh, letterbox, I don't know, is that something to put something in maybe later? Uh, the manufacturer's name, Escape Welt. 
Um, and then, oh, it's, ah, I assume that that is the uh, vault door at the end. The old Illuminati in number four on it. Um, right, well, what does this, what's this about then? So we've got some circles. Oh, that's not moving at the moment, is it? Or is it just a... No, that's not being... Uh, oh, that middle one's moving a bit. No. Middle one moves, bottom two kind of move. So what we've got, we've got like a, a light bulb. Uh, triangle. Oh my gosh, this is awkward with the camera. Circle. Is that just a line? It's just a line. Maybe it's not that one then. Um, three. One. Oh, it's, okay, so is this the actual order in which to do them, perhaps? So, uh, have we got any kind of shape clues anywhere? Let's have a quick look around. That may be. Must not forget that at the end. Uh, do I have to turn? Maybe I don't have, have to turn that to. Ooh. Ah, to what I'm actually doing at the time, maybe? I don't know, just guessing. Um, the top one still doesn't want to move. Um, so what we've got on this middle one, we've got like a uh, like a bottom of a square. We've got arrow thing, another circle, more of a circle. We've got the bottom part of a circle. Am I supposed to look at it by a certain way, in a certain angle? It's supposed to be this or anything, is it? Oh, wow, there. around in there. Is that the booby mummy I've heard so much about? It's a weird thing to ask for. Okay, so what could this mean? So I can't change the top one, so maybe that's part of the clue. So we've got this half circle. So we need to look for something which is got like a half circle pattern on it or something. Three minutes in already. This is going to take me a lot longer, I can tell already. Is it this maybe? I don't know. Oh, that's moved. Oh, that shifted back into... Oh, that is moving. Kind of. Kind of. Oh! Oh, is that supposed to... Oh, what's this? Something moving. I'm not sure I'm supposed to move that yet, but... Uh... Did you see that? What's that say? Two uh, beta. Two beta, maybe? Any more clues like that? Hmm. Okay. Maybe that's for a later bit. I don't know. But I think we've still got to solve this for think store number one. If we trust that that is the order in which things need to happen. Um, so what kind of shape? Could we be... Sorry, I keep getting it into... Light bulb there. That doesn't seem likely. I'm not sure what that's actually supposed to do when... Uh... <laughs> that's fun to turn. Although I'm worried I'm going to wreck things inside if I keep doing that. I feel like that's... that's... I think when those are done, that's going to pull out. I don't know what's supposed to happen um, when these are done. Unless maybe... No, that wouldn't drop out, would it? Those are going to be part of that. There's nothing up there to come out, so I don't know. Unless somehow it causes something else to pop out. Maybe... Uh, no, I don't know. Oh, unless... It, what's this up here? There's something here as well. That looks like that, that's potentially going to come out at some point. Oh, hang on. Oh, I feel like that will come out at some point. Another one there, maybe. Oh, there are these. Oh, hang on, that's connected to... Oh, can, you push, can I push these? That one either side is like a pattern there. That one there. No, I don't know. 
But we've still got to do this, I think. Well, then again, these follow that. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Let's follow these three. Do 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 do. Gosh, okay, so this is some kind of convoluted clue about what I need to put here. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Well, that's quite a good angle to see that one, I guess. Oh, this is interesting. The, I can see that the bottom one, it's only like the like an outer disc that's spinning. Whereas this one is a whole disc. And this one is a whole disc. Well, it looks like a whole disc anyway, it could be half a disc, we just couldn't see inside of course. Whereas this one definitely is a, a whole disc. Um so if we're if we're unless unless we do we count maybe we count backwards. What's the See number two on here then. C three and there's a four on top. No, it's, it force force the the main door. That's got to be the last thing. So one's got to be right. It turns a little bit. Uh, maybe. Uh, oh gosh, I'm confused. I don't think there's enough clues for me on this. I'm feeling particularly silly now. Um, I'm thinking I need to do light over here a little bit more so you can see from this angle instead. Oh, that's much better. Why didn't I do that to start with? I apologise for having rubbish lighting in the first half. <laughs> first half, that's optimistic, isn't it? Okay, so we've got these symbols. Oh gosh, you can hardly see those. Nothing underneath on these. Mm -hmm. You can't leave the middle ones, can you now? Good. So. Like an upside down B. Not having to do with anything on here, is there? They're not turning particularly nicely. Uh, gotta figure out what this means. Oh, good grief. Charlie Brown. Uh, oh, upside down B. Oh, this is. Let's come out more. No, two B still. Oh, that's these aren't these aren't affecting that, are they? Really, I should be figuring out, trying to actually figure out what the code is, but I feel a bit of a loss at the moment. Two. Ah, so ah, no, I, I see. Is this actually? This is actually number two. So this is the second thing I need to sort out. So I still need to do this one first. So where do these go? So they hit this with a one, four, and a five, uh, uh, seven. <laughs> one, four, and seven. Um, so one goes to there, but what does that mean? Something on that side. Oh, I don't know why I've pinpointed this as one, it's just the top left. Does it really mean anything? Um, hmm, what do these mean? What do these mean? Say five. Oh, God, I can't get any light. Two, two, or something. That comes out to two bit. I still think that's the second thing to do. So maybe these loose, maybe these release that or something. Maybe, so maybe the right combination of these makes this this uh, gear work, perhaps. Oh, just being a bit uh, 
gentle with it, made it uh, pop out a bit more. Still don't know what uh, combination I should really be uh, aiming for here. Circle. I haven't seen anything like these anywhere, that's the thing. Upside down, that's what we're, upside, yeah, V in a circle there. That definitely is going to release that at some point. There's a V there. One, four, seven. I think I do need to have this. Right, make sure. Oh! One. Doing this in the right order at the moment. Where's the arrow gone? It's because I put number six. One, four. There's four of them. Well, I had it with four. I need it at seven. One, four. I don't know now. What am I doing now? I feel like I've. Uh, since this is like a six on it. Six. Really jumped a gun there. I'm not sure I was supposed to be doing, able to do that yet. Hmm. No, not convinced. I hope I haven't broken it with that. That'd be uh, tragic. Um. I don't remember this is. Do we do? This? No. And again. Oh. Oh, unless. Ah. Hang on. Six. Six being a V thing. Can I find a V thing on? Or something which looks like that symbol? It's really hard to see in the light there. Sorry, I haven't been looking at the camera, so this is going to be useless this video. I can tell already. Uh, you can't really see it. Uh, well, let's have a look again. Uh, one. Can you sort of see it's like a, it's kind of like a um, square root symbol type thing. So let me just make up some of the rest of it. Again, I'm not sure. I'm supposed to be able to see all this. Ah, there you go. Oh, six. It's like this, it's definitely like a square root type symbol. There you go. Sorry, I'm having too much fun at this. So, so the sixth one is like, if, if we can find that square root, I'm just going to have a quick look. Mm. Ah, there we are. There's a, I don't know if you can see that. Square root symbol. So are we figuring out what the... What the, what the, what the combination to this is? Is this like a thing which needs to... So, so if we have a look at what we've got on here, and we know that two is because we had that thing that came out, didn't we? So two is the uh, beta symbol. So have we got? Yeah. So two, you can. I don't know if you can make up two there. Lighting is awful. We just there we go. So we've got the beta symbol there, and number two, number one though. I'm not sure what that could be. Let's have, let's have a flip through and see if we can see a symbol that we could make that has a circle at the top. Oh, what do we have there? Ah. Oh, sorry, I keep because I keep turning it towards myself out of camera. There's the square root one again. Come on. Oh, it's a little bit. Let's go the other way then. I really must. You know, it goes back to beta. Oh, hang on. Ah, now that looks like something we could achieve here. So now we've got the line at the bottom. That again, let me get this right, and then with the circle, we do that, that, and that. I think that that gives us, yeah. So that's that looks like that's what it is. I don't even know if this actually opens anything. This uh, this one, I think this might just be a way of 
determining what that symbol is. You can just see that, that if we just line that up like that, that makes it that. So I'm guessing that means that's the first symbol there. So we've got one, two, there's number three. Okay, so three, is that just a V? Does that mean just a V? Or is it something to do with these, or is it something to do with these? Okay, with that in mind, let's have a look at what we've got number three. At the moment, that's a hexagon type thing. Ah, come on. Ah. I need to push that in. Is that, is that interfering with it or something? No, go this way. Because they don't like going to the, to the right. Oh, no, they do. Okay, so don't really know what that thing is. It's a bit small to see on camera, this, isn't it? Plus? Could it be a plus? Mm, unlikely. Is there a V? I think there is a V, isn't there? There's a triangle. Square roots. 22. Oh, that's going to be... Um, that's going to be the number 5 one, isn't it? The number 5 one comes out like... I know. Oh, yeah, where did I see that? 22. Ah, that was on. That was on... That's number 5, 22 there. So that's the fifth one. So the six, so the last one is 22. Again, I'll aim to get this in the shot. The last one is square root, we know that. 22. Uh, fourth one, does that mean triangle then? Because I think I've seen a triangle. Yeah. So square root, 22, triangle, what was the third one? The third one we hadn't figured out. We know that the first one's like the lollipop thing. We know that two is the beta symbol. So we could just... What, what's what's left? It's not going to be the square root. We won't have any duplications. Come on. Triangle again. Uh, fourth one's the triangle. The plus symbol. No, let me make sure everything's lined up right. I have a feeling if this isn't lined up properly, I reckon it won't, just won't happen. No, so not the plus symbol. Can you tell I'm excited? Wow, gosh, that looks like some kind of key. In here? Oh no, okay, I've got that stuck. Oh no, ah! <laughs> Do we have a key-shaped hole somewhere, I seem to recall? A key up there. I mean, one would guess that... Is that to push something out? Push that out the other side or something? Do I... Do I... The tool, tools are great, aren't they? Ah! Oh no, that's where I got that out of. That's that bit, so we don't want to be that bit. 20 minutes so far. Lever it open. <laughs> that's how these work, isn't it? Hmm. Ah, or does it go in this way? Does it hook anything? This could actually be for. <laughs> that's probably just how it was staying in the, uh, in the in the uh, in the in the mechanism. So the important bit's going to be this uh, this bit on the end now. Be. Let's push somewhere there. Move something. 
bit, I can't help feel it's about pushing. I mean, what's this start? What's this bit here, you know? And this here. No. Nope. Anything opposite? No. Can't push these in. No. I still think it's something in here and I'm just, I'm just being silly. Do I try the side? I'm trying to push up against the side, not sure where I should be. I can kind of feel the post for that one on the left. I feel those on the right. I feel like I'm going to damage it if I keep, I keep messing around too much inside. I feel like it's just going to go and whoosh and gone in. I can imagine someone's probably like yelling at me through the through the screen now saying, do this, I'm doing it wrong, why are you doing that? Ah, unless, does this go in here? Which allows this to come out or something? I feel like, I feel like that should have come out by now. to do with it. It's got to be this. I feel it in the back. Oh dear, it's not very clever is it, of me? I feel like I've lost the battle somehow by getting stuck here. Hmm, what would you do? two things at once at some point. Is that they've got a very tiny end to this, so maybe there is maybe the clue is actually that I've got something quite small I need to push in or do that. Like this. No? Or maybe it's a lever it up or something. No no I don't I imagine there's no brute force involved here at all. But that does seem odd that that's suddenly uh, I don't think that was that loose before. Mm. Oh dear, my battery's running out. One of my cameras. That gives me a bit of incentive to try and get things done. They don't all have to be correct again, do they, for this to actually work? Well out now. Do three need to be? Well, two is the basis symbol. This one moving a lot nicer now, as you'd expect. Oh gosh. There we go. And then three was the one I can't remember now, but I would trust it was that four was the uh, triangle, five was the twenty-two, six was um the divide symbol. So we'll keep that, make sure that's in the right place. We'll try again. It's not going to fall open. Ugh. Don't tell me. It just fell open, man. What did I do to do that? Was it? Ugh. 
Okay, so maybe we can uh, stop at 26 minutes there. Okay, what have we got? Can't believe I just needed to turn it upside down. I can't believe without the glasses on. Can't believe all I need to do is turn it upside down. That's ridiculous. What have we got? Look at this. The Boo Boo coin. Do they not? Do, so when they say on the box, the wonderful box aside, the uh, actual thing. When they say the Boo Boo Mummy, do they actually mean the Boo Boo Mummy or do they mean the Boo Boo Money? Or am I being really silly there? Boo Boo Coin! Well, I like a Boo Boo Coin, of course. Okay, so I think we've, we can pretty much gather how most of this works. Um, what I did though to... Ah, okay, so there was the, there was the... Okay, so this ends up in that hole there, I guess. Ah, right, which stops. No, I see. So when this is inserted up the... Uh, Put these right again. So divide symbol 22, triangle, there's the beta symbol. There you go. Which way around does this go? That way. Which one was it for number three? I don't think I ever figured out why number three was that, but okay. Tree one was it again? This way around? Why is this changed? Come on. Two. Stay still. There we go. So when that goes all the way up, see that it goes in there. And it locks the uh, push that in. It locks that in place. Ah, if I can do it. or something but oh yeah no we won't be able to do unless unless it's like that and that's like that so that locks it there I mean I, I, I don't know was, was I expecting it to spring open with a fanfare I don't know I mean that would have been nice but still okay yeah I get it so 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 basically yeah if I push this like that you can see that this basically comes up through this gap and, and locks it in place so yeah, pretty clever. Yeah, nice, okay. So, now the challenge is to put it back. Am I supposed to use this for something? Or is this a, is this a token which they normally include in these? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's put these back in. Let's close the locking mechanism. Get these back into place. So it's all it was all about making sure uh, that uh, have I done that right? Yeah, looks like it. So if I scramble this. So it was all about discovering this combination basically. This one. This was the one I didn't really understand. What, how I got this to work. I'm sure it's to do with um, these. So is that seven or six? It is seven, isn't it? So if I move that back to seven, there's the arrow there. 
to yeah, it should go in a bit. Then it was four. Then it was one. There we go. Okay, cool. Back together. Lovely. No, oh, that was good fun. I like that. Very good. So 26 minutes. Pretty happy with that since it said an hour. Although I'm sure some people have done it much faster than I have. Um, I think once you realise that what you're looking at is a set of clues for that particular thing. This one was confusing because I was sure at the time. I think the, the part of the clue is that that one doesn't move, so you have to, you know, it doesn't take much to figure out what the actual combination is. Once you, once you know that you're trying to get this top one here from it. Okay. Well, well done, Escape Vault. Very much enjoyable. So that was the solve of this, the uh, Four Knox box by Escape Vault. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it took me a little longer than I hoped. Not quite as long as I feared. It does say up to an hour on the box. Uh, so I don't know how other people have gone on with it. I'll have to go and check those out now. I've been sort of trying to keep myself spoiler free for that sort of thing. I hope you enjoyed watching me get frustrated with this box. Uh, and I hope you'll join me for the other one. Like I said earlier, there's a review video which will show what I actually think about this box overall. Uh, please go and uh, watch that, see what you think, and uh, let me know if you agree with me. Otherwise, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next Soul video. Bye.